Number 55. What is the relative humidity on a 25 degrees Celsius day when the air contains 18 gram per cubic meter of water vapor? All right. So first thing is uh, we want to consider, do we know, what do we know about relative humidity? Right? Do we know a formula? Do we know a concept? What do we know? Well, we do have a formula for relative humidity, and it's down here on the bottom right. It says that the percent relative humidity, or aka just the relative humidity, all right, will equal then the vapor density of the water in the air, that's actually in the air, divided then by the saturation vapor density, all right, of the water, multiplied by 100. All right, this saturation vapor density is basically the maximum density that the uh, that air at a certain temperature can hold. Maximum density of water vapor, I should say. All right. Uh, this value is gotten or found in a table. So what you have to do in order to figure out what value you should plug in here for saturation vapor density, you need to know the temperature. And in the problem, it's 25 degrees Celsius. All right. And then we just look it up. So you go to your table. I copy and pasted it. On the right hand side, you go to 25 degrees Celsius and you now know the saturation vapor density. Just be careful with the units, gram per cubic meter. That might be okay, it might not be okay depending upon the problem. All right. Um, well, you might say, well, wait a minute, shouldn't we just have it always in kilograms? And well, uh, generally speaking, yes. However, whenever you're dealing with a percent as you are here, all you have to do is you have to make sure that the numerator uh, units are the same as the denominator units. And if they are, they will cancel then, right? Because you're dividing one by the other. And in this particular problem, I'm not actually going to do any conversions because I realize that the given units are the same as the units in the table. So they will all cancel and that's what a whole percent is. It's just a ratio. And remember percents and ratios are unit less. They don't have any units, all right? So now I can just plug in my value. So the percent relative humidity is going to be equal to the vapor density found in the air. I mean, and it tells us this, right? Remember, it sounds confusing. Vapor density, what the hell, what is that? What's a density? You know that density is simply some mass per volume, right? That's what density is. And now all they do is they shove this vapor term onto it, right? And for some reason it becomes confusing then, now I agree. However, it's just saying that it's some gas, right? This is basically saying some, some density of a gas in air. That's all it is. But remember, it's basically density. So notice the units here, a mass per volume, right? Remember, this is meter cubed. It's not a distance. If you have cubic meters, that is a volume, all right? If you had meter by itself, then that's a distance. All right, so basically now we can just plug everything in, right? So this is 18.0, then divided by, the saturation vapor density found from the table, 23.0. Remember, the units are the same, so I can just plug them in. I don't have to do any conversions. So the percent relative humidity will be equal to, let's take out that handy dandy calculator, and it's 18 over 23, and what do we get? Multiplied by 100, obviously, is then 78.3. All right, and I guess three sig fig should be fine. So this is the percent relative humidity. That's it. Cool, guys. Thanks for uh, joining. I appreciate it very much. Hit that subscribe button if you can. We'll see you next time. Take care.